Radio Rahim here with Latif Coyote. Uh, let me ask you first of all, you know, uh, this guy that you're fighting, Antonio Tarver, he is a legend, he is a world champion, he's had a long time in the game. Do you respect him as a champion? Yeah, I respect him as a champion, but when I respect him as a champion, when, some, when, when somebody respects you as a champion, you need to respect it too. You hear me? When you don't respect the person as a champion, I'm, not, I'm a champion too. It's just like I, I never have a title. I'm a champion, I'm undefeated. So I took, my, I took my respect from you. That's why I call you, okay, let's do it. I think you say you got something. Okay, I got something too. Let's do it. Let's show the world who is the best between me and you. I don't have no respect for him. Everybody clapping hand now. I don't clap in hand for him no more. So, no respect. We fight June 12th. If we this fight it doesn't happen, I saw him in the store, on the Lakers store, I will fight him. We need to fight. Now, when you challenged him, you know, uh, Tarver was calling fights. He's a commentator on Showtime. You obviously took what you heard him saying about you personally. First of all, talk to me about when you when you heard that we were sitting at home. What made when, when did the when did it click? Like I have to beat this guy. I gotta fight this guy. You took it so personally. Talk to me about how that how that happened. I doesn't I doesn't take the fight right away. Like I just I just want to fight him. I doesn't take it that way. He did it first time I for my show boss. He did it like that too. I said okay. I don't, okay maybe that is his job. Well, um, it, I mean, all my fight, like a six or five, five times I fight, he do the same thing to me. So every time I, I see him, he's smiling at me like everything we cool. He argue me, we cool. Hey, brother, how you doing, champ? You know, but after the show, he be an enemy to me. So every, every time I come home, I will say, what do you do to this man? All my fans say, well, this man doesn't like you. All the fans, they say, what do you do to this man? I sit down, I look at him. So he'll be, he, he, he come back to fight, he went back, he go to every weight. The, the fight, the fight everywhere, the fight is terrible, the fight is no good. He looked down, he want to come back to Kusa way. So I have a three North America tied to bed in my hand. Nowhere you can go, you have to face me. If you want to come down to Kusa way, I'm in top. So maybe that why he, that's why he's trying to say bad thing about me, so people can hate me or something like that. There are three people working within, two people working within, there are three. If I got caught, they say, oh, Latif got caught. If I got, if you open it, you got caught with me. They say, oh, good right round, good punch, Latif. You quiet, you say, on that background. You hear me? If you short, I can do this for me, like what I'm saying, to prove my this truth. I'm saying the truth. I'm not trying to be suspecting. I never say this to nobody. I wrong or cursing. I no cause. I don't do nothing. They can renew all my fights. Show all over the world. Say, see what I'm saying. I'm talking about. So now I want to prove him. I'm better than him, or he better than me. Now he's not the only one who has been critical of your performances in the ring. Is there anything that he said that you take to heart? Before you get in the ring with Antonio Tarver, are there any things that you feel like you need to work on to become a better fighter? Well, like a good question. We are always learning. Nobody perfect. You hear me? You, we are we are always learning. We nobody perfect in this boxing. I'm working on. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I got just getting better one time. I have to step up to step up to step up. But this man, every time I get to the ring, he talk. He always say bad about me or something like that. And I saw him in the da uh, downtown over here in the Staples Center. I walk into his charm. What have I done to you? What did I do? You always talk bad about me. He said, I don't do, I don't do, I don't say nothing about you. I do my job. What kind of job are you doing? You are not already one there there. What about the two guys? Well, now you have a job to do on June 2nd. Talk to me about what's going to happen that night in the ring to prove to the world that you are indeed better than Antonio Tarver. Tell us what's going to happen. Well, what is going to happen on, on June 12th? He can handle what is going to happen on June 12th. You hear me? He thought he can handle it. He thought he still have a talent. He thought he still the same he thought. He's not. You hear me? Because if you saw something that is bigger than you, you will back up. You hear me? Because I know I will back him up. I know I will threaten him. I know I will let my hand go. I know I will knock him down. So I have a big confidence on him. You will knock him out? Yes. Latif Coyote, good luck on June 2nd, facing Antonio Tarver at the Home Depot Center.